Now what I'd like to do is discuss the various types of electron pushing arrows you might possibly make and discuss which types are legal and which are illegal. How can we make sure we're drawing legal uh, arrows? So how can you draw a legal arrow that moves a lone pair into another lone pair? How can you draw a legal arrow that takes a lone pair on one atom and makes it into a lone pair on another atom? Well, a long time ago in the videos, we already said that this is never legal. It's never legal to take a lone pair on one atom and make it into a lone pair on another atom. We talked about this at the very, well, close to the beginning of this series of videos. Is this legal? Well, no, because the tail is at a lone pair, and the head is pointing directly at an atom, which means that it's forming a lone pair. But this is just what we said you can never do. You can never take a lone pair on one atom and make it into a lone pair on another atom. So this is illegal. You're not allowed to draw this arrow. Uh, you can see why if you think about these rules over here. Um, because this atom currently is completely lacking this pair of electrons. This carbon right now has, lacks any relationship with this pair of electrons. Well, it can't go from completely lacking any relationship to owning the lone pair. That's not an allowed transition. So that's one way to remember or understand why you can't take a lone pair on one atom and make it into a lone pair on another atom. Uh, because if we took this lone pair and read it as a lone pair over here, this atom would go from lacking the lone pair to owning it. And this atom would go from owning the lone pair to lacking it. And that's also a forbidden transition. So it should be clear that we cannot go from a lone pair to another lone pair. Is this a legal resonance push? Uh, is this a legal electron pushing arrow for resonance? Again, I hope that you're briefly pausing each, uh, pausing after every problem I pose to think about it. But this is the same problem as before. The head here is pointing directly at this atom, um, and the tail is at a lone pair. That means that we're trying to go from a lone pair on the nitrogen to a lone pair on the carbon. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to go from lone pair to lone pair. This is another illegal structure, illegal electron pushing arrow. Is this a legal error? I hope you gave that a shot. No, it's not legal. Because the tail indicates that we're moving a lone pair, and the head indicates that we're forming a lone pair. How do we know that we're trying to form a lone pair? Because the head is pointing directly at this atom. Well, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to go from one lone pair to another lone pair. This seems very reasonable because we're trying to take a negative and move it onto a positive. This seems reasonable based on the charges, but it's not legal. Based on what we've learned so far, is this legal? Well, this is not violating this idea over here, because we're not forming a new lone pair. We're moving a lone pair, but notice that now the head is not pointing directly at the atom. Now the head is pointing to the middle of a bond. That means we're not forming a new lone pair, we're forming a pi bond. Well, it's perfectly okay to make a lone pair and make it into a pi bond. So I hope you can see why this arrow is legal. This is fine because we're not forming a new lone pair. So this is fine. This would be wrong. You can't put this head directly on the atom because the, uh, that would be forming a lone pair from another lone pair. That's what you're not allowed to do. But again, this is fine because now we're taking a lone pair and we're making a pi bond. That's okay. Does this seem legal? Well, we're forming a lone pair, but we're not forming it out of a lone pair. Notice that we're forming this new lone pair out of the pi bond. Well, that's perfectly okay. The only thing you're not allowed to do is take one lone pair and make it into another lone pair. So this is fine. This is legal. Um, so it's okay um, here to have, it's okay to have the head pointing directly at an atom. It's okay to have the head pointing directly at an atom as long as the tail is not coming from a lone pair. 
Here we're forming a lone pair, but we're not coming from a lone pair. So this is also legal. Is this legal? This was kind of a trick question. Um, we're not violating the lone pair, lone pair rule. This would not be forming a lone pair because the head is not pointing directly at an atom. So we don't need to worry that we're forming a lone pair. But this is still not legal because this atom is not a candidate for resonance. This atom is not a candidate for resonance. It's got no lone pairs, uh, it's got no pi bonds, and it's not a carbocation. So this is not a candidate for resonance, so we can't have a head coming in towards it. So this is not legal. That was kind of a trick question because uh, uh, I didn't want to test the same idea anymore. Even though we've been focusing on the fact that you can't take one lone pair and make it into another lone pair, you can't forget about the previous rules that we've learned. So we've also learned um, that you have to make sure that you're dealing with a, a candidate for resonance when you draw an electron pushing arrow. Okay, um, so this is illegal because it involves this atom, which is not a candidate for resonance, even though it's not violating this idea. 